So what is up YouTube, it's Jeremy from Team Out, and today guys we are back for an Infernoble combo tutorial. Um, I'm going to be showing you some of the combos that I've figured out how to do in the deck. Uh, off the top of my head, I don't know how many I made. So we'll go ahead and get it started for you. So I'll put my little dual radio field center uh, in the middle as our field center. and. This will be a one card combo using Battle and Boxer Uppercutter. So if you guys aren't familiar with what he does, uh, the quick rundown essentially is the effect for this combo is when he is normal or special summon, you can search for another Battle and Boxer monster. That is it. That's all that matters. So we're going to normal summon him, activate his effect. We're going to search for Battle and Boxer Sparrer. Battle and Boxer Sparrer says if you control a Battle and Boxer monster, you can special summon him, but you cannot conduct your battle phase this turn. So we're going to summon him since we are going first. We're going to overlay into Dempsey, activate Dempsey's effect on summon. Uh, he will let us search for a level 4 or lower fire warrior monster, which Renan just so happens to be. That is not an effect that activates to detach, so it's kind of cool. Next we'll use his effect, it detaches as a resolution, so all it does is prevent battle boxers monsters from being targeted for the rest of the turn, which is fine, we'll detach. Special Renan, since we have fire warrior, add back the sparrer, and sparrer summon is not once per turn. So we're going to summon him again. Then we will immediately Synchro 5 into Angelica. Activate Angelica's effect to add Noble Arms Museum. We'll activate Museum, pay 12 to search Durendal. Uh, we're going to activate Durendal, but we're going to equip it to Dempsey. This is just for linearness, I don't know. I like the, uh, the aesthetic. Uh, Durendal effect we're going to use to search for the Roland. Uh, this is part of the reason why I play him in the deck. He's a very nice extender. Uh, we're going to activate Roland effect targeting the Angelica, and then we're going to chain Angelica's effect, banishing her, sending an Ogier from the deck to the grave, and then summoning, we'll summon him over here, Captain Roland. Um, next, we will activate Ogier's effect equipped to Roland, and then since we did successfully search for an equip spell this turn off the museum, we will use the effect to summon the Ogier back. Uh, then we'll use Ogier's effect to send the Turpin from deck to grave, Synchro 9 into your Synchro Charles. We will use uh, Roland's effect equipped to the Charles. Then we'll use Turpin's effect to summon himself back. And then we'll link into Emperor Charles the Great. Then use his effect to equip the regular Charles. And then with these two, we'll link. Turpin will be banished. This will get sent to the grave. And we're going to summon SP Little Knight. So off of a one card combo, that seems pretty good. However, because of the tech choices that I've picked, this is not the end of the combo. Now we're going to resolve some effects. Angelica is going to resolve and she's going to come back to the field. Uh, since we have, where is he at? <laughs> uh, Roland, the level one in our graveyard, during the end phase we get to search for a fire warrior monster. So we can search for immortal phoenix gear feed for follow up. And then during the end phase, Charles is going to activate equipping the Durindal from Grave to him, and then from the deck, a Malgus. So this is just a one card combo. Obviously you would have, if you're going first, four other cards in your hand and you're searching this gear freed uh, at the end of your turn. There's other variations you could do for this, and uh, obviously based off your hand, you can change the combo up a little bit, and uh, you'll be drawing a card if you decide to pop during the in phase. If you destroy the Malgus, you can shuffle back your Banished Turpin, your Ogier, and like a Sparrer or something to try, to try to draw a card and get a hand trap. But this is the bare minimum you can do with this, uh, with this hand. So I'm going to pause the video and then set up another combo. Alright, now after that combo, let me teach you guys how to utilize the Sinful Spoil Package. So this will be your hand down here, and we're going to start going first, of course, in the draw phase, and we're going to activate Wanted Seeker of Sinful Spoils. Uh, we want to do this in the draw, fra draw phase, excuse me, uh, so we cannot get hit with Droll Mockbird, because Droll Mockbird cannot be activated during the draw phase. So we're going to add Devil Star to the Black Witch. Uh, the next is your regular Uppercutter Lines, Effect to add Sparrer, Special, Overlay into Dempsey, Dempsey Effect on some is going to search you for an odd, Dempsey Effect, let it resolve, Special Renaud. Renaud effect is going to add Spar, Special, Synchro, into Angelica. Angelica's effect on Summon, add Museum, Activate, put this sideways to show us our hand, 
uh, Museum, K12, Durandal, Equip, uh, Activate Effect to Search for the Roland. Roland Effect to Target, Chain Effect here, Send, Summon, we'll summon it right there. So we'll get Sent to Grave. And then here is where it's going to be slightly different. We're going to send the Dempsey from Field to Grave to summon the Black Witch and Activator Effect to set the uh, original Sinful Spoil Snake Eye. Then we're going to immediately activate it, sending the Bell Star to summon at Ricardetto. The reason why we can do any of this <clears throat> is because we don't get Warrior Locked until we summon Ricardetto, or if we special summon a monster from the Spell and Trap Zone off of Museum without having uh, Charles on the field. So after summoning Ricardetto, we're going to activate its effect to revive the Ogier. Then we're going to activate Ogier's effect, sending Turpin. Next, this will be <laughs> a little silly, but we're going to summon another Roland. This is how we get into the Angelica's Angelic Ring line. We're going to activate his effect on summon to send an Equip Spell and then search during the end phase. Uh, after that has resolved, we're going to activate Ogier to equip to this Roland, activate Turpin to summon himself back. And we're going to Synchro 9. And to Charles. Then we're going to activate this Roland's effect to equip to Charles. And then obviously link into Charles the Great. Charles effect on summon to equip. And then now we'll use Museum's effect to summon this Charles. Uh, this might seem a little odd, but we're going to link them off into an SP Little Knight. So right now this doesn't look like very much of a different board, much of a crazier board, uh, especially using one extra material for this, but we're gaining so much more advantage. So we're going to go to the end phase, or we could go into the end phase. Uh, don't forget, we do have the Wanted Seeker of the Sinful Spoils and the uh, Sinful Spoil Snake Eye in our hand and the three other, or in our grave, excuse me, and the three other cards in our hand. So let me grab three cards to represent that. During the end phase, or main phase still, we're going to banish this, uh, put this at the bottom of the deck, and then draw a card. So that's four cards on our hand, still in main phase one. Ideally, we don't get Nibiru'd. Uh, we go to our end phase, and then we resolve card effects. We're going to resolve Angelica, she's going to come back. Uh, during the end phase, we can resolve our Roland, adding a warrior from our deck to our hand. We're going to add our gear feed. During the end phase, we're going to resolve the properly summoned Captain Roland. We're going to send Angelica's Angelic Ring, and I like to add a follow-up card for the next turn, so we're going to add another Renaud from our grave or from our deck to our hand. And then during the end phase again, we're going to uh, activate and resolve Emperor Charles, equipping him with Angelica's Angelica Ring from the grave, since it was sent there off the Roland, and a Malgus from deck for a either draw during this end phase or a draw during our opponent's turn. So that is what a two card combo looks like. I'm going to pause the video again and show you a side deck-ish combo and I will be right back with that. All right guys, so we are back with the third combo and the final combo which will be setting up the Great Shogun Sheen lock. Uh, the main way to do this is going to be uh, basically maxing out on using Noble Arms Museum, unfortunately. So it might sound pretty inconsistent, but once you're doing the deck and like learning the plays and how to do it, it becomes a lot easier than you would think. Uh, the easiest way to do it that I could think of is a two and a half combo, two and a half card combo being Uppercutter, Wanted, and Heritage to search out another museum. Uh, so obviously we'll go draw phase, Sinful Spoils, searching your Diabell Star. Uh, then you'll go main phase, Normal Uppercutter, use its effect, searching the Spar, then you'll send the Spar to the grave to summon the Black Witch. Uh, Black, Fitch, Black Witch effect will set the Stake Eye that you will then activate to summon the Ricardetto out of the deck. Uh, Ricardetto's effect is going to activate to bring back the Spar, and then you just immediately synchro summon the Moth into an Angelica, and then activate Angelica's effect on summon to search Museum. Activate Museum, pay 12 for Durandal. Uh, activate Durandal, target Angelica, chain Angelica effect, send. We'll send Ogier, and it has to be Ogier, to summon the Roland. 
Next, you will activate Ogier's effect to equip to Roland, and then activate the museum to summon the Ogier. Uh, Ogier's effect on summon is going to send Turpin. Next, you will Synchro 9 into your Charles. Activate Roland effect equipping to Charles, and now here's where I like to stop before I do anything else. You're going to activate Turpin's effect to summon himself. Sometimes I get ahead of myself and just skip steps, so I like to do it there. Uh, then you'll link into Charles, Charles effect equip Charles. Overlay these two into a Dempsey. Uh, Dempsey's effect is going to activate and you're going to add Renaud. Uh, special Renaud, use Renaud's effect to add the Sparrer. Special the Sparrer. Synchro 5 into another Roland. This Roland, you will activate its effect. And then you're going to link 2 into SP Low Knight. Here is usually where the combo would end, but with the extender of Heritage, you get quite a bit more. Uh, so you're going to go Heritage, and you're going to search uh, Noble Arms Museum. Then you're just going to activate the second copy. You're going to pay 12, and you're going to search Joyce, and it has to be Joyce. Because... Since Turpin was not sent from the field to the graveyard, uh, he was sent as a material, he's still in the grave. So Turpin effect is going to equip the Charles or your SP, and then you're going to use Museum to bring it out. So this will not be banished when it loses field. Then you're just gonna equip it with Joyce, pass any priority to your opponent if you want. You would also get a, jaw, a draw off of the Wanted engine. Uh, then you're gonna go to the Enphase and Resolve stuff. Angelica will come back. The Roland that you properly synchro summoned is going to activate and resolve its effect, sending Angelica's Angelic Ring and adding Great Shogun Sheen to your hand. And then finally, you're going to activate Emperor Charles effect, equipping it with Angelica's Angelica Ring from the grave and Malgus from the deck. And then since a card was equipped to somewhere on the field, you're going to use this effect to non-target destroy a card, and you're going to destroy your own Turpin that is equipped with Joyce which will then trigger Joyce, since the monster it was equipped to was sent from the fields of the graveyard, you get a special summon any fire warrior from your hand, including Great Shogun Sheehan. So what this lock does is, if you have Angelica's Angelica, Angelic Ring, the first card your opponent would resolve, the first spell card they would resolve, is resolved negated. It does not negate the activation. Great Shogun Sheehan says your opponent can only activate one spell or trap card each turn. And so how this whole interaction works is, let's say your opponent activates something like Pot of Desires. They banish 10 for cost. You will not negate with uh, Charles. You let it resolve because of Angelica's Angelic Ring. They cannot chain something like Forbidden Droplet to it and try to negate the Sheehan on resolution because uh, this would negate the Droplet on resolution and that would cause two spell cards in the same chain to quote unquote resolve even though one of them resolved negated. So they have to basically activate two infinite impermanences on this Sheehan, uh, one of which you'll obviously negate with Malgus, which will let you draw a card by shuffling three back into the deck. And they'd have to set, activate a second imperm on him and then have, have their first spell still resolved negated. So they're going through three cards to try to activate spells. And it's not even guaranteed that they open the uh, double imperm. But that is it for the combo, guys. Um, thank you guys so much for watching these videos. If you could find any different variations of the combos or even better combos, uh, just let me know down in the comments, please. I'd love to learn from you guys as much as you would potentially learn from me. Um, thank you guys so much for watching the video, and I will talk to you later. Peace.